peaches that I got from the peach truck. I don't know if you've seen it on Facebook, but it's a truck that um, actually comes to your city. It tells you where they'll meet you and set up and you can come pick up the peaches that you ordered. You order them months in advance, even before the peach harvest. And then um, they are grown and harvested in Atlanta, Georgia. And then after they've been picked, you know, they pack them and then they arrange to have this um, meetup. And so these are the peaches that I got. I actually got a box of 25 pounds, but I shared half of it with a friend. So this is what I have left. They are so beautiful and delicious. Ronnie and I have been eating them already. I'm about to have another one. And I also got these um, Georgia pecans from them too. So I'm gonna be making some peach cobblers, maybe some peach preserves. I'm not sure what all I'm gonna make yet. So Malaysia, what we have to do now is peel these peaches, okay? Okay. Woo, we got a lot of peaches. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of peaches. You think you can do it? Yeah. Okay. Let's sanitize your hands. <laughs> Hello, everybody. How are you? Close the door, sweetheart. So I'm making my simple, simple, self-crust making peach cobblers. Um, <laughs> Michelle and I, or Michelle, Malaysia and I just peeled and sliced up Oh, that's about 12 cups of peaches, fresh peaches from the peach truck. And now I'm about to start on my cobbler. You know, I think this uh, caftan is like my official baking wear. <laughs> I have it on almost every time I'm cooking. And anyway, um, I'm making like three servings or three um, pans of this peach cobbler. One for my house, one for my daughter's house, and one for my son's house. So, I'm tripling what I usually would do for one. And I'm gonna preheat my oven to 375. Oops, that's not what I want. Here's my beautiful, beautiful peaches from the peach truck from Georgia. And I'm going to add, since I'm doing three recipes here, or not three recipes, but three um, cobblers, I'm adding in three cups of sugar to the peaches. That's one, two, three. Yeah, and then I've got three more cups here that, that will be used for the cobbler topping or the crust. So I'm gonna mix this in and then I usually use lemon juice for the acid in this recipe. And I am fresh out of lemons. So guess what? I'm gonna use, yes, you can help, sweetie. I'm gonna use vinegar, yeah. I know that sounds weird, but really the acid in this recipe is just for that acid. It's not for the lemon taste. So, no, no more sugar in this, baby. So I put the lemon in, I mean, I put the vinegar in and you will never know, I promise you, you will never know that that is the acidity in this Daddy, recipe. This, the sugar and the taste make? of the peaches will definitely mask it. And you'll get that you lovely acid that you need. We're making the peach cobblers that you helped me prepare the peaches for. Remember? Let's use all the ingredients. Got all the ingredients right here. Let's, say, let's make it. Okay, look. Look at the camera. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm par cooking the filling. So I've got my peaches, my acid, and my um, sugar in the pot, and I'm going to cook it till it comes up to the boiling point. And um, then I'm going to pour it over the batter 
and then when it cooks, the batter is going to rise to the top and form the, the cobbler crust. Yummy! What I'm doing next is putting about a half a cup or a stick of butter in each of the pans. Now this one is a smaller pan. It is not quite 13 by 9, so I'm putting less butter in that. But I'm going to stick them in the oven and melt them. Okay guys, so what I have here are my dry ingredients. I have three cups of sugar, three cups of flour, just all-purpose flour, um, three tablespoons of baking powder, a pinch of salt, probably two pinch, good pinches of salt because I did use salted butter. And what I'm gonna do is add my milk in. I've got three cups of milk. I'm gonna add that in and just mix it only until um, all the dry ingredients are mixed in. Is anybody else like me? This is what I do. <laughs> I watch cooking shows when I'm cooking. I also love like self-help and not self-help, but uh, DIY shows. So yeah, I am a total grandma <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> okay, the peaches are boiling. So it's time to turn them off and add them to the mixture. Okay, I'm gonna add a pinch of cinnamon to my mixture. And that's three pinches because I've got three pies. And I'm also gonna add just a little bit of nutmeg. I don't like a lot of nutmeg, but a little bit will go a long way. That's enough. Okay, you, you got most of the big lumps out, so that's good. Now give, give me a ingredient. Okay, I'll give you another ingredient, just one minute. Well, what we're gonna do next, Malaysia, is pour this batter over our butter in our pans. Burr? Mm-hmm, burr, <laughs> yep, burr. Okay, so I poured the batter. I just tried to evenly divide it, you know, more for the larger pans, less for the small. And um, there's no more stirring from this point on. So when you add the batter, you don't need to do any stirring. And now when I add the peaches, there's no stirring either. Dad, Nanny. Yes, dear. What's that? The peaches, the yummy peach mixture. Yeah. Mmm, smells delish. Yeah, it Smells too. like spicy, juicy, Sweet peaches. Yeah, it's spicy. Yeah. Hot. Yeah, it is very hot. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's smoke. There's hot smoke. Talk. I'm not looking. Oh, I'm going to attack it. So now they're all ready for the oven. Yummy. These are going to come out juicy with a crispy brown soft topping on top and we're, we're gonna serve them with vanilla ice cream topping. or by itself and we eat these cold or hot okay I just put them in the oven and they're gonna be in there for about 45 minutes to an hour so it just de depends on how my oven is cooking yo I can't wait to show you all right see you later bye that was so easy, wasn't it, Lasia? Yeah. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. What did you help me do? Did you help me peel the peaches? Did you help me cut them up? Did you help me mix the batter? Yeah. That's a super simple peach cobbler recipe. You need to try it. They're out of the oven. Don't they look good? The top is nice and golden brown. It's still so juicy. The peaches. What's the matter? Girl. <laughs> the peaches are just nice and juicy and soft. 
And the crust, oh my gosh, is delectable. It's soft, yet it's firm. And it's nice and sweet and spongy. Ooh, it's good. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna dish some up for you. Okay. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna serve it with a little bit of butter pecan ice cream that I have. Yum. Yum. Oh, look at these peaches. It just doesn't get any better than that. Yummers. Going in with the ice cream. Okay, I know it's going to be hot. I know it's going to be hot, but I'm going in for the first bite. Mm, get a little bit of the crust. Yep, you're next. I'm going in with a little bit of the crust, some of the peaches. You're next, baby. Mm, mm. Mm, mm. <laughs> it's so good. Mm. You ready for some? Mm -hmm. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna blow it off really good, okay? No. I don't want some. You don't want any? Mm -mm. You sure? No. Okay. Guaranteed that's the easiest, tastiest peach cobbler you're gonna make. <laughs>